is start to finish on Modern Marvels. Kia Motors Manufacturing in West Point, Georgia is a $1 billion, 650-acre arena of high-tech. Everything in this state-of-the-art facility is precisely calibrated for maximum efficiency and speed. Each vehicle will be built in 23.3 hours, and there's no room for error. When we have 100,000 miles of warranty and 10 years of warranty, you want everything to be perfect when it comes off the final line. And the clock starts ticking here. This is the absolute beginning of a car. You wouldn't imagine it, but very soon, once it goes through our presses, it'll start looking like a vehicle component. Each one of these galvanized steel coils weighs 44,000 pounds. When unrolled, they stretch for more than a mile. The coils are lifted by 50-ton overhead cranes and placed on an enormous spool, which feeds the raw steel through a blanking press. This massive machine has a simple job. Unroll the steel coil, then cut it down to size. These coils will make fenders, doors, inners and outers, hood inners and outers, tailgate inners and outers, and the other parts that you see forming of the body. With its fast-moving dies, the blanking press can cut up to 40 panels each minute. You can see we have a blank storage area nearby where all of those panels will be stored based on what part they'll be stamped into. Panels are then fed through the stamping press, the largest machine in the entire factory. This is absolutely the biggest machine in this whole plant. Yes, it is. It, it's a monster. It weighs in at more than 5,000 tons. Its massive dies move at 15 strokes a minute, molding the tough steel as if it were clay. The draw die is 2,400 tons of pressure. Then the three remaining dies are each 1,000 tons of pressure. So that's a lot of force coming down. After less than an hour in the stamping shop, what was once an enormous steel coil is now a stack of shiny new auto body parts. But we're just getting started. Next stop is one of the most automated departments in the entire automotive industry, Kia's welding shop. Here, there are just 62 humans and 242 robots. The robots improve the, your manufacturing ability greatly because the repeatability is outstanding. So the same process every time takes out the human error so the customer gets a good quality vehicle. Each vehicle that goes through the welding shop will receive more than 2,000 welds, all performed flawlessly by robots. The older assembly plants, a lot of this welding function was done using a manual gun. Human operators could take an entire day to complete a car body. Robots can fuse one together in 90 minutes. It was 1961 when the first industrial robots went to work for a General Motors plant. These robots, called Unimate, were basically mechanized lifters and welders. They were cutting edge for the time, but they still had plenty of drawbacks. They were backed up by very limited computer power. They weren't really uh, equipped with any kind of sensing. They couldn't touch anything and feel. They couldn't see anything and feed it back into their system. So as good as they were, they were still relatively uh, unintelligent. But as the decades passed and technology took off, robots with sensors and computer vision became commonplace. Today at Kia, sophisticated robotic systems perform the most difficult, dangerous, and repetitive tasks. From start to finish, this is the beginning. This is our floor line here. This is where our front aprons and dash lower comes together. You can see they transfer down the line here. And when they transfer, the robots come in and make wells. The jig turns back around, comes back up. Robot picks it up, puts it back up into a carrier that goes through the overhead. The overhead conveyor transports the floor of the car to the body build line, where the vehicle starts to take shape. Most people think the body shop's the place to be. You get all the automation. 